Hey, it's Diana at Crooked Little Studio. I've got a bunch of dirty brayers. Um, I could peel these. It would take a long time to do that with this mini. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I do. It's super easy. So here I am in my 1960s bathroom with this groovy turquoise sink and yellow tile. <laughs> so Murphy's Oil Soap. It is a concentrated wood cleaner. And um, yeah, I don't know if you can get it overseas, but I've got roughly one part soap to seven or eight parts water. This is a container I got at the dollar store. There's not quite four cups of water in here and a little over a quarter cup of soap. And I'm just going to place my brayers in here. So that they are all covered. You can see some of it's already starting to come off. Some of these were used just a little while ago. I had a workshop that was about um, just a couple of hours long. So some of them don't have a lot of paint on them. Those are the ones where the paint is already peeling off. Uh, some of them I have been using for quite some time and the paint is quite a bit thicker. So I'm gonna leave these. I'm just gonna let them sit and I'll keep track of them so we know when the best time to um, finish cleaning them up. Okay, it's a little over an hour later. And that blue one, that one was from today, wasn't used a lot. And you can see where the paint is starting to pull away from the brayers. I am going to let these sit overnight to make sure that they are completely ready to be peeled <laughs> and cleaned. As you can see, it's pretty early in the morning. These have been soaking about 14 hours. You see how the paint is completely pulling away from the brayers. The paint is mostly gone from the ones that were used for just a couple of hours. The paint will need to be peeled from the brayers that have the thicker paint buildup. I'm going to fast forward this process. I use a paper towel to clean off the metal parts and to wipe away the paint that is not easily peeled away. I'm placing the brayers in the sink after the paint is removed. I'm placing the big pieces of paint onto a paper towel. When the paint is very thick on the brayer, it can be pretty easily peeled away without soaking it at all, but that would be rather time consuming for this many brayers. There are the big chunks of paint. They will go into the trash can. Next, they all get a good rinsing and I wipe the paint off the metal parts as needed. Then I place them on the counter to dry. In order to dispose of the soapy water without allowing any of the solid pieces of paint to go down the drain, I get a large bowl and a kitchen colander and place some folded paper towels in the colander to catch the solids. This prevents the paint from clogging your drains as well as preventing it from going into the public water system. The paper towels and paint solids go into the trash can. Once the brayers are dry, I store them in a large, shallow box with the roller facing up. If they're stored with the roller down on a surface for long periods of time, this could eventually cause a flat area on the brayer. I hope this helps. If you have any tips, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching.